In this session, we will see AEM dialogs. AEM dialogs are used to enter information to a component. For example, if you open a page that I showed here and double click the title element, a dialog appears. You can enter certain information such as title, link and so on. Just to demo, let me change the title to my name that is Sunil and I'll select done. You could see that the title of the page got changed to Sunil. The dialogue you just saw is a touch optimized dialogue. Means this dialogue is optimized to view in various devices such as phones and tablets. AM used to have a different dialogue. Let us see it. Go to classic view. Page appears like this. Now double click the title element. I hope you notice a difference. This dialog is used in desktop. Most of your users may want to use touch optimized dialogs that enable them to work on handheld devices. And of course, that is the future tip. I will first introduce you to the later, the dialog that is not touch optimized. That is classic dialog, the, the dialog that you see on the screen now. We will see how to create a dialog for the YouTube component. We have seen that the component adds a YouTube video to the page. This is our YouTube component appearing on our web page. Author wants to change the URL of the YouTube video. So the requirement is to provide them with a dialog that allows them to enter a URL. Let us see how to accomplish that. So let us log into CRXT Lite, allocate your YouTube component. Let us delete the dialog that we created earlier. I'm going to right click, select, delete, save everything. Let us copy a dialog from an existing component. Then we will refine it based on our requirement. This is always a good strategy because we are starting with something tried and tested. We can use a component named title for this purpose. Now go to uh, lips WCM foundation components title and select this dialog a right click copy come back to a component youtube select it a right click and paste it now save everything as uh, now let, let us uh, do the modification based on our requirement i'm going to select title change this as YouTube component expanded. Uh, we don't need this type, so let us delete it. Select title. Here, there are certain changes that we need to make. Uh, field description enter as enter. YouTube URL field label as, as YouTube URL now now save you don't need to change the name element right now let it be uh, as it is 
and there is an x type of field you know you normally don't change that x type field uh, it is displayed as text field it means that you know we are going to have a text field in the dialog so we are done now let us see how the web page appears open the web page that we created select the youtube component and double click see the dialog appears you could see the field name as youtube url and there is an instruction for authors in the youtube url uh, we will wind up the session here remember we need to add the logic to capture url ended here to update the web page we will see how to accomplish that in the next session thank you so much for watching see you all soon